Let's walk through setup and use of the MyMon or the My Remote app. Um, your LV1 system should have been delivered with it already kind of pre-configured, but I'm gonna show you just in case it isn't, how to get there or in case you remove it, you wanna add it back. So we're in the setup window, again, across the top, setup, and um, you can see MIDI Fit Plus, that's the fit controller, that's the hardware um, underneath the screen here. If I click this little drop down, you can see something called My Remote. It might say My Mon, depending on the vintage of your software, um, but we're gonna say My Remote. And then this cog, I can pop it up and I can see if there's any units connected. There's nobody connected to the system right now. Um, and that's just from somebody uh, connecting to the, the Wi-Fi access point with your system. So let's say I've got a phone here and this one has got, um, it's got the MyMon app installed. So I'm just gonna click on the MyMon app. It's gonna load. Um, and the first time it pops up, it might pop up into a screen that looks like this, where it says select mixer. Well, there's only one mixer. So I'm gonna click on select mix. And I'm gonna say, okay, well, I know this week I'm on pack three. I can hit done. And now it says at the top, I'm on monitor three. And here I am. Simultaneously, here back at LV1, it shows this particular iPhone is connected. It's got the green connection icon to monitor three. Let's say I, as the worship leader, know that, oh, this individual is supposed to be on actually mix two this week. I can move them back to mix two and actually it moves it here in the app right away. And so you can kind of sort that out. If you're like, oh, I don't want them to, to change their mix again. I'm just gonna lock their mix. You see that drop down went away. Now in both places it shows the mix is locked. So you're locked to mix two at this point. I can also lock their EQ and I'll show what the EQ is in just a sec. But from back here at LV1, you can lock our users EQ and then chain them to the particular mix. So maybe you have to get everybody locked in. That's a good button to turn on if you had six or seven devices in here, right? Okay, so in the MyMon app, let's just unlock that just so I can navigate around if I need to. Um, you can see it works in either portrait or landscape. Um, the only things we're really worried about in here are uh, mixer and panner. So you can see left, right. So you can pan something left to right. You can turn it on or off and it says kick in, kick out. Just kind of grab and slide over. You can see all 64 channels in here. Okay, remember, uh, here's vocal one, two, three, four. We don't want to do anything with that. We want to look at IEM Vox one, two, three, four. So good indication there's these channels are on to this mix. These channels are off to this mix. So if they're off to that mix, you shouldn't see anything. And also mixer, you can see there's zero here, but they're up in here. So that's a good reminder. Again, just driving the point home of like, we, there's a video that talks about being on the right vocal channel, having the right vocal channel in your in-ears, just reinforcing that. So just panning throughout, I can move up and down, just kind of grab a, grab a fader and move up and down, just like I have my own console in front of me there. Okay, so I can do that in here. Um, I wouldn't worry about links um, or setting links. EQ, this is actually like a pack volume. So the same way you can kind of move things here, maybe they want to, you know, boost lows. It's like a car stereo, you're gonna boost the lows, boost the highs, you know, uh, duck the mids, and now everybody wants to jam to that in their car. Um, yeah, you can easily uh, shape your EQ here too. If it's like, oh man, I'm a bass player, I wanna hear more lows. Great, easy way to get in there and do that. Uh, how does this look on the mixer side? Let's just look at that real quick. So let's just go back to kick in here. I can go back to kick in. I'm gonna look here at kick, or uh, let's go back to kick, monitor one. If we look here, I'm gonna put these two together. If I drop this in, you can see it moving on monitor two, I guess. So I'm up and down, it's instantaneous. If I turn that off, Turns it on, great. And kind of, you kind of see how I'm navigating there. So it's very, very quick. Simultaneously or, or similarly, if I move it here, it does the same thing here. So um, it's really quick, really responsive. Um, if I'm in the channel mode, I do panning, same thing here. The panning responds the same way. It's very quick, very easy to use. Again, just looking at um, uh, the, the volume level and the panning is really the only thing you need to worry about. So any novice musician can navigate this as well. We've got a lot of elementary, well, a lot of junior high students, senior high students that are using these here in Ames. Um, very easy to navigate. And we actually kind of find this is really one of the big selling features for sending this on a church plant is the fact that the engineer who maybe is just kind of getting started him or herself, they don't have to worry about all the needs of the musicians because there's a baseline monitor mix set and established and now the musicians can kind of tweak based on what they want to hear. Maybe they need some guidance from an engineer to kind of help them get where they want. But 
sometimes the needs of four plus band members on the platform exceeds the needs of the house. So by saying, hey band, you're kind of responsible for your own years, it allows that more novice engineer to focus on the needs of the entire uh, house for worship. So I hope that's helpful. That's kind of setting up my mon or my remote and how to navigate it from there. Um, be on, to be uh, connected to it, you gotta be on your Wi-Fi uh, network for the package, which you should have gotten some of that information when you deployed it as to what that network is and what the, um, the SSID and the password for that is. So uh, hope that's helpful.